What's going on guys? Thanks for dropping by for Let's Talk Handhelds Part 4 and today we are talking about two more systems. It's going to be the original Nintendo DS as well as the Nintendo 3DS. So without further ado, strap in. We're going to start talking about them. Here is the case that has my original DS inside of it. Um, nothing too fancy, a little in-tech kind of uh, soft-ish case. Had this for a long time. Here's all the goodies inside of it. Um, it wasn't until later um, that I put a skin on it. It's the original silver model, but I put a Resident Evil 4 skin on it. Yeah, like years later because it had a lot of scratches on it, which is weird because it was almost always in a case. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Still works. And you might be thinking, Resident Evil 4, why would you put that on a on a DS system and I don't know because it looked cool and apparently I it was, I, I, I mean I love Resident Evil 4 so 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 why not it doesn't really make sense because they never never made Resident Evil 4 on it but um, but there it is and yeah still works still powers on it's uh, barely got any juice on it it's probably been years since I've turned it on maybe not that long but it's I, I tested it beforehand and she's still she's still uh, chugging right along there got a handful of games inside we got well well what do you know we do have a Resident Evil game it's the only one they had that was Resident Evil uh, Deadly Silence I feel like they they had to think of a name that was DS so they're like mm, Deadly, Deadly, Deadly Silence that's a D word and an S word so that'll work I mean that works uh, we also have Field Magic which it's weird uh, it's fine uh, we've got uh, Mario Kart DS classic I love that one a lot there's a brain age game here for you. I was trying to I was trying to get smarter, so we also got big <laughs> got big brain academy. It did not help. Um, we also have Contra Four. We've got Brain Age Two because I was really desperate, really desperate for some knowledge there. Um, and then we've got the game that came with it. It was the Metroid Hunters demo, which is not the full game, but we'll we'll touch back on that. Again, I also, I don't have any other accessories for it too other than the charger, but I remember this came in like a, a, a kit with some other goodies, like probably a cleaning cloth, there was a car adapter, um, and then those little claw stylus that you guys might be familiar with. You put them on the end of your fingers, there was three different sizes, and use that instead of a si uh, the stylus that came with it. So look at that tiny little stylus that came with it. So tiny. Also, fun fact, a lot of people don't remember is that the original DS, the OG, this OG fat boy right here, actually utilized the same charge cord as the Game Boy Advance SP. So if you have either one of those, you can swap those out around, which was great because I had, obviously, um, you saw in my last video, I had that, so I had two chargers. Three, technically, because I had the car adapter as well. So three chargers, it was all great. And you gotta love that backwards compatibility. Not only could you play, obviously, DS games, but you could also do Game Boy Advance, which was perfect. I remember getting this bad boy on Christmas, and I was so excited. That beautiful silver, um, sexy machine. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, yeah, I just love the silver design. It was a nice change up from the red Game Boy Advance. And I lost my train of thought. Oh, <laughs> I just love the backwards compatibility. Because, of course, you had that on Game Boy Advance with the Game Boy uh, Color and the Game Boy Original games being able to play it on that. Unfortunately, you can't play those games on this, just the Game Boy Advance, but it was still really cool. It had a brighter screen than the Game Boy Advance. Well, the original Game Boy Advance SP anyways. But, yeah, it was a, it was a great little system. I never really, I didn't really invest as much time into the system as the other two, the Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance. Um, SP, but it was still still a great system and we're oh that's the that's the OG boy right there that was the game I got with the system Nintendogs and then much 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 later I picked up a Game Boy Advance or I'm sorry a DS Lite from Replay nothing else going on in there it's just an official DS case but this one I got a R4 card so you could put ROMs and stuff on there so we'll just quickly scroll through there so this is when I guess I started going to the dark side a little bit of course I started modding other systems before this but yeah you got uh, what do you got on here you got uh, kind of like, just kind of backups of the games I just showed you um, you got Field of Magic Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell which I had a physical copy of that at one point but I guess I, I guess I don't have that anymore 
got a Kim Possible game. Uh, we got Frenzy on there, Tetris, Elite Beat Agents. Um, got a bunch of other ones, but we'll segue the rest of that into our top five uh, t games for the DS. Moving right along here, I'm going to do the 3DS next, which is somewhere in front of me. Oh yeah, here we go. There he is. We got the 3DS original in black. And you're like, what's what's up with that 3DS, bro? Well, that's the Circle Pad Pro. Strap detached there. It just sticks on there via friction and runs on a AAA battery because Nintendo just does things weird, as always. So there's the there's the 3DS original. Um, the Circle Pad Pro wasn't used for too many games. I just got it pretty much solely for Resident Evil Revelations. Um, I actually bought Revelations and Mercenaries before I even had the system because I was going to borrow it from somebody and, and and I did and it was okay. Not as not as great of an experience as I would have hoped. I played Revelations later on on 360 and it was a much better experience. So what do you got on there? Well I modified that too as you can see so there's you can see all the goodies on there. We'll go into too much detail but I'm sure you see some familiar ones on there. We'll talk about it more closely on the on the top 10 which we're gonna kick off right now um, but jumping back to the DS I'm gonna give you my my top five there starting off with number five is gonna be Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell which I don't have in front of me it's just digital but I did play that in high school and I thought that was really cool because really my only experience with DS was like Nintendogs and Metroid and I didn't really have, I didn't accumulate as many games uh, as quickly as I did with Game Boy and stuff like that. But playing Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell was awesome because it was a third person stealth shooter, which third person I'm all for. Stealth, not as much, more of a running guy, Gears of War person myself. But I don't know, I really got into that game. Maybe because I didn't have anything else to play and it, this was so new to me, but I played all the way through that and I loved it. And it was, I think it was ex executed really well in that system. Um, the graphics are really, really hard to look at today, but at the time I was blown away and I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Going on to number four in my top five list, that's going to be New Super Mario Bros. I mean, come on, you got to have a Mario game on there. Otherwise, what are you, what are you doing? That one, that game was fun, solid main game, but I mean, all those, all those uh, mini games were, were so much. I'm pretty sure that was the game with all the mini games on it. But so many Mario titles, I, I tend to get them mixed up. But pretty sure it was pretty sure it was Super New Super Mario Bros. Anyways, number three, I'm gonna give it to Metroid Prime Hunters, which I only have the demo in front of me here, but I've got the the ROM of it on on the DS there in front of me, which I haven't played too much. I've played a little bit of the full game, but man. I played so much of the of this silly little demo because I think you had like three stages or whatever. Plus, you could you could get online um, and play with people even with the demo. So uh, it was just so so satisfying first person perspective, which and utilizing you only had the D pad. You had no analog sticks, but you had the D pad to move to move around Samus, and then you had to use the touchpad with the stylus to aim. And it worked great on the DS. It was it was so accurate. It was comparable to like mouse accuracy, I would say. And it was just just loved it. The weapons were so satisfying, bro, blowing up the aliens and stuff. So yeah, that was that was kind of a throwback there um, with the DS. Moving on to number three, um, we had oh I'm sorry. Moving on to number two, I guess we were already there. Um, was Contra Four, which I do still have the case right here. Always been a pretty big fan of the Contra series, even though I'm terrible. So I don't know if I'm worse on on uh, arcade machine or what, but I'm definitely bad at like the NES, the OG ones. But Contra Four, I feel like, is a little more forgiving, um, and you, it utilizes both screens. You'll be running around on the bottom screen, and then you'll grapple to the top and move around up there, and vice versa, bouncing back and forth. Such a great execution of both screens. Probably one of the best utilizations if that's a word, of, 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 of both screens on the DS. Um, so yeah, that's a solid, rock solid number three. Number two, just kidding, that was number two. I really should have revised my list. Number one, whew, this video, this video is struggling. 
Number one's got Wendell Mario Kart, which I don't have the I don't have the case, but there's there's Mario Kart OG right there. Played played that a lot. Uh, actually, an old uh, buddy of mine in Boy Scouts had uh, Mario Kart, and he'd uh, you could even if you didn't have the game, you could wirelessly transmit like a demo over there. It wasn't it wasn't uh, Bluetooth, but it was like Nintendo's own thing. So two DSs could communicate, and he'd we'd play Mario Kart that way. So yeah, that was that was great. That was great. Great times there. And I think I think that's about all I can say about the DS. It was a solid little solid little game. Definitely. Uh, moving back to 3DS, I've got a top five for you there. Starting off with Samus Returns. That's a that's a great game. Um, Metroid Samus Returns. It goes back to the side scrolling aspect of it, and I think that works really great on the 3DS. Um, number four, going back to Resident Evil Revelations, I put it put it down there on the number four slot just because there's something special about it on its original hardware where it was supposed to be played on. It looks. It's it's easier to play on the on a console like Xbox, um, but it's really cool seeing it in 3D on the on the 3DS. So that's kind of cool. And making and playing it with the Circle Pad Pro, this is it, it really helps it quite a bit. So I like that. Number three, I'm gonna give it there again to Resident Evil again, but it's gonna be for the Mercenaries game, which I played a lot of the Mercenaries on Resident Evil Five, and I really like the Mercenaries on DS on 3DS rather, but uh, I just wish you could utilize that Circle Pad Pro on here. It would have been perfect, um, but you can't for whatever reason. It just wasn't designed. So you had to use these face buttons if you want to aim your guy, and it's really awkward, but it's still, still a fun game. It's just cool to play Mercenaries on the go, and once I pull the trigger and get Resident Evil 5 on my Switch, it's going to be it's gonna be super, super duper awesome. Number two, I'm going to give it to Adventure Time. Hey, Ice King. And uh, I think that's really cool. It's a side-scrolling one. It's not the top-down asymmetric one that I've played on the Vita. But that's that's really fun. I want to play more of it. I admittedly haven't played too much of it. But I, I felt like it merited pretty high on my on my top five list. Number one, there again, going back to Mario Kart. Because just just huge sucker for Mario Kart. I don't know why. I'm not a huge Mario fan. Not a huge racing fan. But Mario Kart, oh baby. Just, just mm, I'll just gobble that up all day long. Because Mario Kart 7 is my jam. Um, yeah, uh, just, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, an improvement from the from the original Mario Kart. But uh, definitely Nintendogs was where it all started in my DS journey. Um, I had a lot of doggos, and they are, very, I just checked on them earlier, and they are very dirty and very hungry, so I should probably uh, give them some love. Thanks so much for watching this video and uh, if you liked it drop it a thumbs up sub ring that bell and all that jazz i'll catch you guys in the next one